Boeing's new 777-9 is set to be the flagship of its wide-body airliner portfolio when it completes type certification. The manufacturer is aiming for first deliveries in 2025 and has a lot of work to do to bring it to market as part of the 777X program that also includes plans for a Dash 8 model. At the Dubai Air Show, an early example of the new model was on display. This is a flight test airplane one. Uh, we have four of them in the fleet. And you'll see here, um, kind of a flight test normal layout. You'll see a bunch of uh, electronics units. Uh, these water barrels that are all around us are, are to really facilitate the movement of weight in the aircraft. So we're moving weight forward, aft, to kind of get a different CG uh, while the pilots are flying the aircraft. You'll also see further electronics down there. Those are monitoring systems for avionics, sensors. So as we're flying, uh, we can see every aspect of the flight uh, envelope and be able to dial in kind of flight control changes or software changes that might be needed for future iterations of the aircraft. Right now, it's, it's, it's the workhorse of our fleet, right? Our, our test fleet. Uh, it's been doing a lot of touch and go landings, uh, a lot of uh, avionics uh, changes, flight control simulations and testing. Uh, and so, yeah, it does a whole bunch of things. Uh, but ultimately, we have three different full flight test vehicles that we're going to follow along and do different uh, systems related testing, avionics test related testing. And the fourth one is a full interior mock up. And so that one, which we, we love to have out here today, uh, unfortunately couldn't make it, uh, but that one's gonna be the nice one to kind of show off the, the great interior uh, of the 777X. Like its rival Airbus, Boeing is chasing greater operational efficiency in terms of range, payload, and reduced fuel burn. That's driven a couple of big changes to the existing 777 family. Well, the two big ones I would say would be the engine and the wing. Uh, the engine, the GE9X, is gonna be the largest engine uh, in commercial airspace. 134 inch diameter, so six inches bigger than the 777 300ER engine. Uh, it's incredibly reliable, incredibly durable. Uh, this engine's gonna be on wing for a long time. It's 6% more fuel efficient than the competition, 10% more fuel efficient uh, than the 777 300ER. They've been running very well uh, within our kind of with the fuel efficiency gauges or projections that we've given it, like which is 6% against the XWB97, 10% against the GE90-115B. Uh, uh, and the big thing, especially in this market, that's incredibly important about this engine is that it's very durable. We've done a lot of sand testing at GE uh, to kind of uh, simulate this hot, humid, and, and dusty environment that really eats up an engine's performance. And the GE90 has been done really well in service, and the GE9X will only propel that further in the future. The new foldable wing is important because it will ensure the larger aircraft can use existing airport parking positions. It's based on technology Boeing developed for its F-18 fighter jet. It's a beautiful, beautiful wing, the largest all-composite wing in the industry. It's 72 meters long, which is five, uh, seven meters longer than your normal Code E wingspan. So you get the benefits of a big wing as you're flying, uh, but when you get to the airport, you bring the wingtips up, get in a 65 meter configuration, you can park at any existing Code E gate, uh, which is over 200 plus uh, airports around the world. So wherever a 777 flies today, this airplane can fly as well. If you look at the airlines that we sold the airplane to, these are the flagship carriers in the world. And it's no surprise that they've chosen this airplane to be the flagship air airplane for, of their future. So we're really excited about our current base. Uh, we're also very excited about our prospective future base uh, because we have over 800 plus 777 300 ERs flying around today, over 1,700, 1,800 777s flying around today, and only a 777 can replace a 777. I mean, so the 777 is, is is tailored to fly really core markets, core routes. So we're talking JFK to Hong Kong, London to LA, Doha to LA, uh, you know, Dubai to LA. These long, long routes that you can fit the maximum amount of passengers. Uh, as airports start to get constrained, as we see a lot more higher landing fees and, and emission fees, this would be the one airplane that gives you the economic benefit and environmental benefit uh, that, the, that the competition can't match.